Welcome everyone. If you're a fan of AMC's The Walking Dead and constantly hear the phrase, well I knew that was going to happen because I read the comics, and wondered how much of it actually correlates, this is the video for you. Just so it's stated, there will be spoilers in this, if you haven't been keeping up with the show at least, but I'll only compare the show to the comic. In that, I mean I'll only provide information that ties in with the current timeline. The comic book started years before the shows was made, so do not fear. I'll not be telling you about stuff that happens in the comic past the current TV show timeline. Basically, in a nutshell, if it falls after the group reaching the Alexandria Gate, as in the TV show, then I won't be discussing it. As an aside, some deaths I do not mention since they are basically the same comic book versus TV or if the person really didn't have an impact or was only briefly mentioned or shown. Also, if a character that isn't in the comic dies in the show, I'll not mention it here. That may be for a later Walking Dead Primer video. Sorry, T-Dog fans. First off, the comic and TV show both agree with how everything starts. No, not the virus. <laughs> for a second there, you probably thought I knew how it all started, but I don't, sadly. But where Rick gets shot, falls into a coma, and awakens in the hospital amid the chaos. Glenn brings Rick to the group where he finds his wife, Lori, and son, Carl. Shane is also part of the group. Of course, as in the show, he's chasing after Lori, as well as some other very familiar faces. The setting is cohesive as well, with the RV and the camp. Now see, this is where the story starts to split. Three people in the show are, to date, they could change this at any time, but to date, not in the comic book. T-Dog, Daryl, and Merle. There's others, but I'll mention them later. Everyone else in the group can be found in the comic book. Amy, who is Andrea's sister, is killed exactly the same way in both media forms, where a zombie attack causes her to get bit, and Andrea has to kill her. Sadly for me... Shane lived longer in the TV show than he did in the comic book. I hated Shane. In the show, he made it almost to the end of the farm episodes, only to be stabbed and killed by Rick, and almost immediately, he came back as a zombie, in which Carl had to shoot him in the head. In the comic, Shane never made it to the farm, but instead became jealous of Rick and pulled a gun on him. Seeing this, Carl shot Shane in the neck, which caused him to bleed to death. He was buried, and not until the group reached the prison did Rick drive back on a motorcycle to the gravesite to find Zombie Shane, to which Rick shot him in the head. A little difference there. Carl was shot in both the comic and TV show, and this is where we are introduced to the Green family. It is worth noting here that Beth is not in the comic book, but Herschel does have three daughters other than Maggie who survived the farm. One thing that deserves mention is that there is misinformation about Herschel going around on the internet. On the Walking Dead comic wiki, it states he is of Jewish descent, and on the Herschel Green Wikipedia page, there are two different sites, it states Irish descent. But in the show, he is Christian. <laughs> the truth is both wiki pages are incorrect, and in fact the show is right. As to the Irish part, it may be true, but being as how both of them worded exactly the same, except Jewish is replaced with Irish, I doubt the validity. Now, we get to the first huge change between the two media forms of media. On the show, Carol's daughter, Sophia, is found in Herschel's barn as a zombie and is killed. In the comic, as of recording this at least, Sophie is still alive and well. On the show, Dale is killed while on the farm, but in the comics, that doesn't happen for quite some time. Also worth noting, Andrea becomes Dale's girlfriend in the comic book. Strange. Later on, I will revisit Dale's comic book death, since it is one of two parallel deaths of the show versus the comic, and you'll understand it when we get there. Both comic and show have almost the entire Green family dying and leaving the farm. Also, to reiterate, three members who are in the comic but not in the TV show 
live until the prison, as well as his son Billy. Although, all of them died to prison except Maggie. One thing that I am happy that they have decided to diverge from the comic book was in Carol's case. They never made her the strong kick-butt woman she is in TV. Carol always seemed to be the broken Carol from the first season of The Walking Dead TV show. She even went as far as trying to get Rick and Lori into a swinging relationship with her in the comic book. And after being rejected, she committed suicide by allowing a walker to bite her, to which she was killed before turning by Andrea. A vast change from the Carol we know. This seems to be touched on by the show with Lizzie, who Carol was taking care of. Uh, she, if you remember, she attempted to allow a walker on the railroad tracks to bite her on the wrist in season four. On a side note, Lizzie and her sister Mika were not in the comics either, but her views on death and actions in the show almost mirror to a T a person in a comic book named Ben. At this point, I must crisscross time frames a little just because the events of the show and the comic fall close together. While both comic and show have Lori dying in the prison, there are a few changes. On the show, Lori dies giving birth to Judith, and similarly is killed before turning by her son Carl. And to date, <laughs> so far, Judith is alive and well. In the comic, however, Lori gave birth to Judith, but when the governor attacks the prison, she tries to escape carrying Judith, but the governor orders Lily, whose story changes between comic versus show, and I didn't want to get into it. Well, he orders her to shoot Lori, to which she falls dead on Judith, killing her as well. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't include this in the show. While I feel the baby's kind of a hassle, and I don't know how they're going to continue with it, it does make it a little better knowing what they avoided having to do. You will see here why I needed to mix up time frames. The death of Herschel and that of Tyrese, as well as Andrea. Hold on for this. First, let me state that on the show, Andrea is killed when the governor traps her in a room and kills Milton, who also isn't in the comic, letting him turn in which he kills Andrea. In the comic book, Andrea is alive and, in fact, <laughs> Now Rick's girlfriend and playing mommy to Carl. He in fact has Carl calling Andrea mommy, so that wasn't just artistic license there. Okay, here we go. On the show, Tyrese died two episodes ago after being bitten by a walker. But this isn't how it happens in the comic. Many of you are probably familiar with how Herschel died on the show. But again... This isn't the case in the comic. This is the first of two parallel deaths I just found out recently. The show has Herschel being captured by the governor and being brought before the prison gate, where his death is threatened if Rick's group didn't surrender. Well, the group doesn't surrender, and sadly, this one actually impacted me, Herschel is beheaded, and after the prison's destruction, his reanimated head is found by Michonne, who stabs it. In the comic... Herschel is shot in the head by the governor in the prison while grieving the death of his son Billy, while everyone else is trying to escape. Also in the comic book, Tyrese is captured, brought before the gate, beheaded, and then his zombie head is shot by Michonne. It is worth pointing out at this point that in the show Tyrese has a sister named Sasha, but she is not in the comic book. So you see what they did there. They switched Herschel's death and Tyro Tyrese's Tyrone. The best part of the season four, I believe it was, both media agree that the governor dies at this juncture, but just how differs. In the show, he has an epic fist fight with Rick and is stabbed by Michonne. And while still laying on the ground, Lily, the woman he hooked up with, shoots him in the head, presumably because he killed her daughter. In the comic, she wasn't his girlfriend and never had a child. It died before birth. In the comic, after realizing she killed Lori and Judith, she turns on the governor and shoots him in the head. Comic book-wise, Lily became the leader of the 
now classified New Woodbury. While in the show, she dies off screen, only being mentioned that she committed suicide by letting walkers devour her. It is worth noting at this point that Bob Stuckey is in the comic and the show. But in the comic, he is from Woodbury, and in the show, it is said that he is saved by Rick's group on the road while searching for supplies. It is also worth pointing out that in the comic book, Bob is Caucasian while he is African American in the show. You'll find no prejudices here. I'm just stating that it's a difference, so I thought it would be interesting to know. Much follows the same path between the two, with Carl taking care of Rick while unconscious, and later a gang tries to kill the group and rape Carl, but Rick kills them. And just as stated at that point, show-wise, we hadn't met Abraham and his crew, I don't believe. But, in fact, I know he hadn't. And in uh, the comic, Abraham actually helps Rick kill that group. As far as the comic is concerned, Terminus from the show does not exist. But the cannibals inside do, and are known as the Hunters. And they simply just have a house in the woods. No big factory type building. In both mediums, the group rescues the preacher Gabriel and takes refuge in his church. Here is the last parallel death so far, and it shows how long a beloved show character lived in the comic. On the show, Bob was bitten by a walker while searching for food, but hid this from the group. Bob walked off to die, but passed out and was captured by the hunters, where he awoke to find they had cut off his leg and were eating it. He was then beaten and left at the church for the group to find where his girlfriend Sasha allows her brother Tyrese to end Bob's suffering. In the comic, Bob is still alive and kicking, but instead Dale is bitten, passes out, has his leg eaten by the hunters, and is ended by Andrea. To think Dale could have lived until last season is depressing. I like Dale. While the hunters are killed in the same fashion in both TV and comic, the setting is different. On the show, it happens in a church, while in the comic, it is the, at the hunter's house. It is worth noting that the hospital and all characters within on the show are not found in the comic, but some similarities of the location are shown in the Telltale game, but I'm not getting into the video game part of it. As far as I can tell, everything else from here to Alexandria's Gate follows suit to a degree. On a side note, I wanted to mention the difference in the comic, in that Rick had his right hand cut off by the governor. So that's a bit of a change, and I'm glad they didn't do that either. Maybe they learned from having to deal with having Herschel's leg cut off and having to do all the CG for it. It was a pain, so they just got rid of it. Anyway, so I hope, to, I hope this helped you out. And you see what everyone is almost bragging about when they say the differences between the two. And you see there really wasn't that big of differences. It's, they switched people, but that was about it, and they did it twice. Honestly, I think after reading the comic that the show's, I dare I say, better. Now, of course, a lot happens in the comic from this point, where we ended off last Sunday. But that doesn't mean it will be in the show. There is a certain death, that I don't know if you've looked it up, and like I said, I'm not going to spoil it, I'm not going to go into it, that some people are speculating about, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything, because they've changed it, and as I've explained. Well, I hope you found this informative, and provided you some clarity. Don't forget to subscribe, as my Walking Dead primer will be coming out so soon. Which is, for those of you that don't watch the show, or always always wanted to watch it, but thought, well, I'm, what, five seasons back now. I don't know if I could catch up. I want to make a video where I can tell you who everyone is, how they died, you know, basically your uh, cliff notes for uh, The Walking Dead. But with that, be safe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.